in 1906, just a year after Las Vegas was officially founded as a city, a small train station, the first in Las Vegas, was installed at the end of a little street simply named Fremont Street. It was primarily named the Salt Lake Depot, and was built in the style of a Spanish depot, and was mainly used for the Union Pacific. In 1939, the depot would be demolished and replaced with another train station, this time with a more modern look, and would be named the Union Pacific Station. The structure would last for a couple decades, until 1970 when a new hotel and casino was announced to take place where the station was. Construction of it began the same year, with the Union Pacific Station eventually being demolished in August of the same year. This new hotel and casino would be named the Union Plaza, named after the Union Pacific Railroad, and would officially open for business on July 2, 1971. It was originally owned by multiple people, including Frank Scott, J. Kel Houses Jr., Howard Cannon, and most importantly, Sam Boyd and Jackie Gohan. The Union Plaza claimed itself as being the largest hotel and casino in the world at the time, with a total of 504 hotel rooms and 66,000 square feet of casino space. Along with it came a roulette table-styled pool that overhung the casino building, giving guests a nice view of Fremont Street. Despite the original Union Pacific Station being removed, a lobby that served as a smaller train station was located in the back of the building, mainly used as an Amtrak station. In addition to the quite large casino, woman dealers were also introduced. Despite being innovative, it was also quite controversial since it was previously banned by the city of Las Vegas for over a decade. Finally, a Greyhound bus and terminal station was located next to the casino, offering rides during the day. The Union Plaza was a major success, becoming one of the most popular and biggest spots in downtown Las Vegas thanks to its extremely easy to spot location and its many amenities. In 1974, it gained its own radio station, named KDWN AM720. This is where many locals of Las Vegas might remember this iconic jingle. You can feel the pulse of the magic playing. You can feel the music coming up and swaying. The glitter, the glamour, the thrill of the show. The Union Plaza is the place to go. The 1980s would be a great decade for the Union Plaza, beginning in 1981 with the addition of the new 521-room South Tower and becoming the first hotel and casino in downtown Las Vegas to feature a convention center. In April of the same year, a new neon facade would be added to the hotel towers, designed by Charles Barnard of Adart. In 1983, the pool was replaced with the center stage house, which was set inside a large black glass dome giving people possibly one of the best views of Fremont Street below, just like the pool it had replaced. 1993 would be a turning point for the hotel and casino, when Jackie Gohan began full ownership of the Union Plaza. He decided to change the name to Jackie Gohan's Plaza Hotel and Casino, dropping the Union name it had ever since it opened. Sadly, a few years later, on May 10, 1997, the metro station that was located in the back of the hotel would close and become abandoned, still there to this very day. In 2004, a hotel business named Barrick Gaming Corporation would buy the plaza, along with the nearby Las Vegas Club. There, Jackie Gohan's plaza would be shortened to just the plaza. Las Vegas mayor at the time, Oscar Goodman, was in a discussion in 2005 when he said that he wanted the plaza to be imploded for a residential area. This never happened though, and the plaza would still be standing to this very day. In 2007, the plaza was sold to the Tamaras Group. After a series of people commentating on the plaza's lack of renovation, the Tomorrow's Group would officially announce that the plaza would be temporarily closing for what could possibly be its biggest renovation yet. The plaza temporarily closed on November 11, 2010, and by the time the property reopened on March 2011, both the South Tower, North Tower, and the casino were completely renovated and upgraded for a more modern design for $35 million using different furnitures from the once abandoned Fountain Blue, now the Drew, and putting them into their hotel rooms. Along with that came the change of ownership of the Center Stage House, which was now owned by Oscar Goodman and renamed to Oscar's Steakhouse. The renovations also bought in Hash House of Gogo, a fairly popular breakfast restaurant with four other locations throughout Las Vegas, including the Link and the Rio. Finally, in 2017, three sides of the hotel tower were painted with different murals, each of them made by different artists including Shepard Ferry, D-Face, and Fail. Today, the plaza represents the changing nature of downtown Las Vegas, reinventing itself constantly throughout the decades. 
Even with the inclusion of Fremont Street Experience's Viva Vision canopy, the plaza is still a beautiful and glamorous property meant for people who want a vintage experience. J. Edgar Hoover said it. There is no mob. Oscar Goodman said it too. There is no mob. But of course, they both knew better. No mob? Have I got a story for you? And this one's a real hit.